Hi everybody, it's uh, Puckbond007 here with my DVD update for November 2nd. Um, in previous updates, uh, you've seen me buy movies by genre. Today it's going to be a little different. Um, they're all from the same year, because uh, in a week's time I'm going to be starting my annual end of the year movie marathon where I watch all the movies from five years ago that I own. I rewatched all the ones that I bought, all the ones I like from from uh, 2005. So and these are some of the ones I don't have yet. So first we have uh, Eon Flux uh, with Charlize Theron, widescreen special collector's edition. Um, not a great movie, but it was pretty cool. Obviously based on the TV show that was on uh, MTV and Adult Swim, I think. Looks like it has a commentary with Charlize Theron, which uh, which would be cool to listen to because I haven't really heard her <laughs> do any commentary, so I'm looking forward to that. So that's that. Next we got uh, Rob Zombie's The Devil's Rejects. Uh, two disc director's cut. Um, I did not like a uh, House of a Thousand Corpses. I actually hated it, but I really liked this movie. I thought uh, William Forsythe as uh, Sheriff Wydell, Wydell really elevated this material. I thought he was awesome in this film. And lots of special features. Audio commentary with uh, Rob Zombie. And another one with Sid Haig, Bill Mosley, and Sherry Moon's Army. So lots of cool stuff on this. I'm looking forward to rewatching it. All these movies I haven't seen since I saw them when they came out. And uh, this is going in my exploitation section. And the Young Flux is going in sci-fi. Next we have The Exorcism of Emily Rose with uh, Laura Lenny, Tom Wilkinson special edition widescreen unrated version. Um, I really liked this movie when I saw it. Along with The Exorcist, this is probably one of the best movies about exorcisms. Um, the last exorcism or exorcist that came out this year was pretty awful. But this is a good one. Comes with the director's commentary. Genesis of the story featurette. Cast and film featurette. So that's obviously going in horror. Next we got uh, Fun with Dick and Jane, the remake with Jim Carrey and Taya Leone. Leone. Um, not a great movie, but like I've said before, I'm a pretty big Jim Carrey fan and it was alright. I still need to get a Yes Man as well. I haven't seen the original from the uh, 60s or 70s or whenever it came out. And again, I haven't seen this uh, since since 2005, so I'll be rewatching that in a couple weeks. And that's going in comedy. Next, we have Hal's Moving Castle. Um, very good movie from Hayao Miyazaki. Nice slip cover on this one. And it's a two disc set, which is cool. Features an interview with Pixar Animation Studios director Pete Docter. Um, amongst Hayao Miyazaki visits Pixar Animation Studios. So that'll be pretty cool. And that's obviously going in animation. Next, we got Into the Blue, widescreen edition. Paul Walker, Jessica Alba, um, not a great movie as well, but I enjoyed it. I haven't seen the like direct-to-video uh, sequels. Steve Zahn is good in it as well. He's always good. And this comes with uh, 10 deleted scenes with optional commentary and an audio commentary with director John Stockwell. And this is going in my adventure section because it's about treasure hunting and could go in crime or action, but I'm putting it in adventure. 
Next we have Just Friends. Uh, Ryan Reynolds, Amy Smart, the Anna Faris, Chris Klein. Pretty funny movie. Not great, but I like uh, Ryan Reynolds. He's pretty funny. And a feature length commentary with filmmakers and more. Blooper reel, deleted scenes, alternate ending. Nine behind the scenes featurettes. So it's going in comedy as well. And finally, we have Robots, the animated movie from the creators of Ice Age, widescreen. Again, not great, still pretty fun and imaginative. And yes, I'm just reading the bottom of that. <laughs> uh, voices of Ewan McGregor, Halle Berry, Greg Kinnear, Mel Brooks, Amanda Bynes, Drew Carey, and Robin Williams. And this one comes with the audio commentary as well, so it looks like all these movies came with the commentary. Well, almost all of them. And it looks like quite a few features on this as well. So, and that's obviously going in animation as well. So, that's it for my pickups today. And next week will be similar, because uh, there's still some movies from 2005 that I don't have. And if you're interested in uh, checking out my uh, what my movie marathon will look like, I'll put a link in the uh, in the synopsis uh, section so you can check it out. So again, thanks for watching and thank you for subscribing and commenting. And I'll see you guys next week. See ya, Giants number one, baby. <laughs>